Hey guys, I am back. I am got everything cleaned up and uh, I'm ready to put some paint on this canvas before I go to bed. It's now 12.08 in the morning and I can kind of sort of breathe. So I think after this I'm going to try and lay down and get some rest. Um, I pulled out the Arteza brand ready mix paints and I pulled out all of the metallics that came in the box. There is a bron I'm sorry, a gold a metallic wine red, a bronze, and of course silver. So I'm gonna pour those um, in a uh, cup and uh, we'll just kinda do a crazy design with it, see what we end up with. I'm not gonna use a lot of the silver. Um, I just want a little bit of it to, um, you know, make some separation between all these colors that uh, probably are going to come out pretty close to the same. I'm probably going to be out of the gold by the end of this because I've used it on a previous pour, so I don't have much of it either. Sorry, I should be doing this closer to the canvas or closer to the camera for you guys. Didn't think about it. The canvas is in the way right now, so we'll just leave it like this. All right, guys, we're going to go with this, see what we get. Let's see here. I'm glad I added the silver. It's really giving some good detail. All right, let's see what we get. Let me tilt. I'm gonna get my cups out of the way. There's still some left in here, so I'll put that over like that. And just kind of, I'm just gonna kind of let it spread, like it, however it wants to. And again, this, uh, this Arteza brand does not have um, anything in it that would make it sell, so there's no need to have to torch it unless, of course, I see some air bubbles. But right now, it looks pretty good. Dang it, I did mean to get a corner catcher. All right, I'm going to put you guys, I'm going to put the canvas back down. I'm going to go get an actual piece of cardboard to use as a corner catcher this time. Bear with me, guys. I will be right back. So you're back. Ta-da! Corner catcher. Simple piece of cardboard that I cut and then uh, just folded, and this will catch my paint for me without me having to get my hands so dirty. So we're just going to put it right here. Actually, let me move my cups first. There we go. Now... Corner catcher down and All right. 
recenter. Recenter the paint. I'm gonna come down. We're gonna come over here. And put paint down here. Center. Sorry guys, I'm trying to be more aware of where you're what you're able to see on this pour. So we're gonna take it, come down here. This one's gonna come out really pretty. Oops, oops, oops. Ah, Stacy. Sorry, guys, I didn't have a good hold on the canvas there. And we'll get this last corner. I really like that part up there. This. This gold down here isn't my favorite. So I'm gonna probably try and run most of that off. All right, there we go. Let's just touch up these edges. It's turning out very pretty. That color combination was really good. Maybe I should do more with metallics. But here it is. I think it turned out really good. I'm glad I added the silver. If I hadn't added the silver, I think it would have been a lot duller colored piece. So the silver really lightened it up. That's pretty. I'm happy with that. That's a good way to end my day. I still can't breathe. <laughs> I thought I could breathe. I breathed for a moment and now I've lost it again. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to throw something together real quick tonight, and this is it. I am uh, going to flame this really quick just because I do see, I think the black underneath is uh, possibly causing some cell reaction. All right, let's uh, flame this just to see if the black underneath is um, indeed uh, creating some cells. All right, not really. I mean, there are a few little holes and, and cells. They're not really cells. It's just where the paint, you know, is poking through. But that's a really pretty piece. I am happy with this. I think somebody would want this one. I know I have made some that have not been uh, quite to everybody's taste. But uh, you know what? This kind of art just isn't for everybody. But I think this would be a pretty picture to put, you know, maybe in somebody's kitchen that has golds and reds or an office somewhere. It's really pretty. 
I think tomorrow I'm going to do um, some ornaments since the uh, paint that I used earlier was not working out on canvas. I think I'm going to try and do some ornaments. I've just, I've got to find some way of standing them up while I pour on them. Uh, you place them upside down like on a popsicle stick, but I don't have anything. I need like a piece of um, florist foam or something. So I'm going to have to try and figure out some way of do, holding them up, but I think tomorrow I'm going to try and do some ornaments if I have any energy, that is. Um, but this is it. I'll show you it, of course, uh, when it dries, and then I'll get this video posted for you. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you. Please, 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 if you do like this, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment. All of that engagement does help my YouTube channel, and it does help me grow. So if you could please make sure that you thumbs up, leave a little comment, and uh, make sure you're subscribed and you've got your notification bell on so that you uh, know when my next, next posting is. Oh, hope I feel better in the next time I video too. Have a good night, guys.